In this video, I'll show you exactly how to generate images in Perplexity and reveal the key differences between the free and pro plans, so watch this video till the end. To get started, all you need to do is visit the official Perplexity website. In the search bar, simply enter the prompt of the image you want to generate. For example, I've given it a prompt to generate an image of a cat wearing a spacesuit. After entering your prompt, just hit enter. Now we'll wait briefly until Perplexity creates the image for us. As you can see, the image is now generated. It looks pretty nice. This image was created while I was on the free plan for Perplexity. Now, let's look at the difference with a pro plan. I have another account open here with a Perplexity Pro subscription. If I enter the exact same prompt and click enter, we'll wait for the image to generate and then compare it with the one created on the free plan. As you can see, the image has been generated through the pro plan as well, and there's a significant special feature you unlock with pro. The ability to select custom image generation models. For this, you simply click on your profile icon and go to preferences. Under the artificial intelligence section, you'll find the image generation model setting. As you can see, it is currently set to default. If I click on this drop-down option, you will see multiple advanced image generation models such as NanoBanana, SeaDream 4.0, GPT Image 1, Flux 1, and Dolly 3. If you want a specific image generation model, you can simply click on it and select that model. Let's say I want to create another image using SeaDream 4.0. I'll simply select it, go back, and enter my prompt again. I am generating the same image again, but this time using the SeaDream model. As you can see, our image has been generated using the SeaDream model, and it looks noticeably different from the previous image we generated. Now, let me change the model again to check another difference. I'll simply go back to my preferences, and here I'll select Nano Banana, then go back and give it the same prompt again. I have now selected Nano Banana and given the same prompt. As you can see, our image through Nano Banana has been generated. One interesting thing to notice about this image is that when you generate an image using certain models like Nano Banana outside of perplexity, you might find a watermark at the bottom right corner. However, when you generate the same image using Nano Banana inside Perplexity, there will be no watermark. This is one advantage of using these premium models inside Perplexity. Also, if you are using the free account to generate images and you go to the preferences, you will find that you do not have the option to select the image generation model. It will be set to default and it will ask you to upgrade to a paid plan to unlock model selection. Finally, let's talk about the limitations for generating images between the free and pro plans. With the free plan, you'll be able to generate a limited number of images per day. The pro plan, however, gives you the ability to generate a much higher number of images per month, often up to 99. While you can generate images in both plans, the pro plan gives you model selection and much higher volume. If you are a student watching this video and want to know how to get the pro plan for Perplexity completely for free, along with the AI-powered browser Comet, you can simply click on the video that is appearing on your screen now. If this video has been helpful, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe.